today is the 20th of February and taking a look at the Euro Australian dollar on a monthly time frame using Strain Education's FX Ultimate 4 strategy. Here you can see by our matrix box it is primarily red and price is trading below the 200 day moving average on all time frames except for the 30 minutes. Now here you'll see I've already drawn in my Fibonacci retracement tool here and you can see that price rebounded to the underside of that 50 Fib. What we're getting now is the current monthly candle trading just below the 23.6. Longer term traders are going to be waiting this month out to see that that candle closes below because we've got a very nice target then back down to a full retracement. So what we're going to do is look at the fact we've got a red arrow, red candle, RMO is below, RCMA is below and bright. So our FXT part of the strategy is set up and price is trading below the three moving averages. So we drop down now onto a weekly. There we had a weekly close below the 23.6 and indecisive spinning top to the underside of that resistance level. And now we are getting the current weekly candle starting to trade lower than that. So we should be looking for continuations to the downside. We've got a red arrow, red candle, RMO is below, RCMA is below and bright. And therefore again the FXT part of the strategy is set up. Price is trading below those three moving averages. They are nicely spread out as well, the 20 and the 50, indicating that we're getting some trend coming in through here as well. So now looking at the daily time frame, we saw a pullback to test the inner side of the 23.6% FIB. The current daily candle is starting to trade lower than the previous day's close, but not lower than yesterday's open. So having a look, we've got a red arrow, red candle, RMO is below, RCMA is below, but now we're starting to see a a slowdown in it and it has started to turn dark and therefore we should be conscious of the momentum in this particular pair. Looking here we have got a daily swing now which would act as an intraday entry. What we're going to do now is drop down onto the 4 hourly and then onto that 30 minute to see where that 200 day moving average is. Looking here on the 4 hourly we can see price still moving in a downward trend direction using the 50 day moving average as a resistance. We've got a blue arrow, red candle, RMO is below, RCMA is above, but we're seeing a slowdown in momentum of upside movement. So what I'm going to do is drop down now onto that 30 minutes to see where that 200 day moving average is. There we've got it below price. It has used it on more than one occasion as a support level and again is, is using it as support. We've got a red arrow, red candle, RMO is below, RCMA is below, but dark showing that slowdown in momentum as price is trading off that 200 day. So for intraday traders, an entry would be a, a break and close below that 200 day moving average on the 30 minutes to then target those daily lows. Looking at that, the distance between these two levels is around about 85 pips. So definitely one for your watch list, but we want to be trading with that momentum. So ensure we've got a breakout with momentum and then let's look for these opportunities today. Thank you.